Hey guys, uh, we're going to do a special edition of the Lock On Astros podcast where we're going to be looking at special in MLB insiders' thoughts on the Astros' victory in Game 5 of the World Series. His name is Gordon Beckham. You might remember him. So we're going to look at this right now. <laughs> Welcome to Locked On Astros, your daily Astros podcast. Here are your hosts, Eric the Man Heisman and Brett H-Town Wheelhouse Chansey. All right, so um, I know that Gordon Beckham is probably a, um, he's from the Atlanta area, I believe. So um, some of these thoughts, uh, he had some thoughts about the Astros and their victory. Um, and so let's go ahead and talk about this. The first one, I believe, is, I closed it, um, but the first one, I believe, is uh, his thoughts on the Astros changing the lineup. So let's hear what he had to say. You mentioned he had a good night. Maldonado also showed up in this game and he had been struggling offensively. Just how big are those individual performances in, I mean, we're in the World Series, right? But in elimination games like that. Yeah, Correa is doing what he does, right? He's a really good athlete and he's a great player. And, and he, he kind of showed up tonight in a big spot to give his team a lift. But the bigger the bigger impact is Maldonado because Maldonado is not hitting. He's not known for his hitting. He's uh, Anything that he does is considered a bonus. What he does is de defense is his, his calling. That's all he uh, is really on the field for is to really manage the staff and throw guys out um, behind the plate. So for him to do something offensively really shows that, like, I, that's something they didn't expect. So for him to have three RBIs, uh, amazing performance in a, in a clutch game. He's beloved by his teammates. I mean, they talk about it a lot. So um, I think it was a, a huge lift, and it took some pressure off the guys that are – generally supposed to be the guys driving in all the runs. I mean, without Maldonado tonight, it's a one-run game, and you've seen what the Braves have done in close games. All right, so apparently I, I clicked the wrong one. That was Astros' big performance. So, uh, yeah, that we kind of talked about that in our podcast yesterday and uh, about Maldonado being one of the big heroes in that game, and he was one of the big heroes. So that's definitely a big key to the Astros' victory in that game. So uh, this, is a, uh, this is Gordon's thoughts on – uh, the Astros lineup changes, including Alex Bregman. Dusty Baker making some changes to the lineup, which is bold in this scenario, an elimination game. Um, how Obviously it worked, right? So what did you see that actually helped Houston in this scenario? Well, I mean, you, they moved Bregman down and, you know, it, I, I hear you when you say you're, it was bold, but at the same time, it's like they hadn't been really swinging the bats well. So like the only option is like, OK, are we going to just continue doing what we're doing? You know, definition of insanity. Everybody knows it. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's why they switched it up. I think it was a good move. And you had Correa hitting third and then Gurriel hitting fifth, which is kind of normal um, uh, for Gurriel. But Correa moved up in the order. He had a good night. Um, and then Bregman moved down to seventh. I mean, it was the lowest he's hit since 2017, I believe. Um, so uh, I, I think that what it showed is that Dusty's not not afraid to make a decision um, that's going to help his ball club. And and Bregman uh, did well down there. I think obviously he's going to be grinding on his swing. I mean, he hasn't had as many swings this year as he has in years past. Um, so he's trying to find it right now. And World Series is just tough to find because you're facing great pitching and um, but he got through. He got a double today, and uh, and and started to move in the right direction. Um, you know, Alvarez is the one that's just really struggling in this postseason. And for Houston to win this series, he needs to get hot. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely something we actually talked about in our last podcast as well. And uh, so this is something that Alvarez needs to really do because uh, he carried the Astros in the ALCS and uh, a little bit in ALDS as well. This is a big, big bat that you're missing. And as uh, he, he discussed is um, Alex Bregman is one of those big hitters and it's hard to be without him like producing like he's done in the past. I know a lot of people say yeah, he has not been a consensus consistently great postseason hitter, but he's still been one of those guys that you can rely on in the postseason. And he just hasn't been that guy this year. So uh, I'm waiting for the next uh, video to upload. But so far that he's been kind of a little bit um, 
uh, positive towards some of the moves that the Astros have been um, making. And so we'll see if the Astros have the ability to kind of make that comeback. Do they, they still have to win two games in a row. And that's something that um, do they do? Can the Braves actually lose three games in a row? That's what uh, they are in a situation of doing. And so uh, we'll see what Gordon Beckham has to say about that right here. And so this is the game six pitching matchup. What do you think we're going to see for game six? Well, you're going to get Max Freed for the Braves. I mean, he's there. He's been their ace all year. He really didn't pitch well the last time he was out there, but he did give his team five innings um, of, of good baseball to basically save the bullpen. So he's going to be rested and ready to go. I would expect that he would do better um, than he did the last time. And then you're probably going to get Luis Garcia. I don't know if you're watching the game um, afterwards. Uh you watching at home, but uh, Dusty Baker, Baker said that they were thinking about going Urquidy, but since he w and went into the game, they're going to go for Garcia, it looks like, on short rest. Three days rest, young pitcher. Um, he can probably bounce back better than most, but he is a young pitcher, and uh, it'll be kind of uh, uncharted waters for him. So interesting matchup to see. I mean, the Braves would have the edge in terms of the starting pitching, but uh, this is anybody's game. I mean, and Houston's playing at home, and I'm sure um, – Minute Maid Park is going to be, you know, really, really loud on come Tuesday. Yeah, it will be loud on Tuesday, especially they probably will have the roof up um, off because um, I mean, open, not off. They're not taking the roof off, but they're definitely going to have the roof open. This is something that Rob Manfred is probably going to be pushing. At, and we've seen this in the past in the World Series because of. Uh, they just don't like the way that the Astros fans have can make the make it really loud there. And so what we heard there was him him saying that the uh, Luis Garcia is very young. He's able to push back from um, maybe this being a short stint. Um, so I, I just I don't uh, he didn't really focus a lot on Max Fried. He just said that he just had a bad start in his last last one. But M Max Fried actually, we talked about this in uh, tonight's podcast. Was he actually had a good start except for the first two innings? Then he settled down. So the Astros really have got to get to Max Fried early. You've got to score on him often and uh, then knock him out early because otherwise he's going to settle down. This guy's a great pitcher. He just, the Astros got to him early. There's a, a, some defensive issues. And uh, so uh, I think that um, Gordon Beckham uh, focused a little bit more on Luis Garcia. Yes, he is on short rest. Uh, yes, he struggled with this command. So, uh, but uh, definitely Luis Garcia needs to work on his, um, his issues. So I'm waiting for this next video to process. And it is, um, let's see what this is. So game six will take place on Tuesday in Houston. Tomorrow will be a travel day. Tomorrow, Monday, um, will be a travel day. So an off day. Who does that benefit, Gordon? I don't think it necessarily benefits anybody at this point. I mean, I know uh, nobody really wants to take off days at this point. I mean, this is – we're two two games away from deciding the, the champion, the World Series champion, and – uh, I don't think either team, I think they'd rather go to Houston tonight and play tomorrow. I mean, that's honestly how I feel. But, you know, it's the World Series, you get an off day. I think that it's probably good for the Braves because uh, Houston's offense got kind of hot tonight. You know, give them a day off. Maybe there's a little bit of rust coming off that day off on Tuesday. But uh, it's definitely not good for Houston because they, they, they got rolling and now all of a sudden they got to, you know, they got to sit at home tomorrow and just work out or whatever at the field. So uh, I would say it benefits the Braves um, because they're, they've shown that they can come back after a loss and have a good, you know, a big game. So uh, we'll see what happens. But I mean, Houston's been really tough at home um, throughout the, the regular season and the postseason. So we'll we'll see what happens. But uh, it's, it's anybody's ball game uh, moving forward. Um, I would have to agree with him a certain way that, uh, I mean, the travel day can kind of disrupt any momentum that a team has gathered. But I think the Astros, with what they did in game five, I think that will carry over. I think that with the offense uh, kind of lighting up, so to speak, especially with what you saw from Martin Maldonado, what you saw from some of the other hitters, Alex Bregman getting hit, some of the other guys who have been struggling 
kind of getting the hits. But uh, it's all like Jordan Alvarez. He's going to be a big, big key to this game. If he if Alvarez breaks out and starts hitting, I think that the Astros win the last two games. And so here is Beckham on will uh, can the Braves actually lose three games in a row to lose this World Series? Would that be an epic collapse? So like you said, anybody's game this series has been very hard to predict, at least for me. I, I can't seem to grab, uh, get a grasp on it. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. But do you have any predictions for these last two games? How do you think this series is going to end? I, I thought I kind of thought it was going to end tonight. I mean, it just looked, yeah. seemed like the Braves had all the momentum in the world, and they hit that grand slam, and it's like, okay, this is their this is their year. And then the Houston do, does what they do; they hit, they they uh, mm -hmm. they threw well. I mean, the bullpen was lights out when they came in, so um, pitched a lot lot tonight. And I, I still think that the Braves are just a team that's they're a team of destiny. I don't know; it's just they they've been playing really well. Um, they find a way to bounce back. I just get the sense that they're going to win. I don't know if it's going to be game six or game seven, but I just can't see them losing three in a row. All right, so you heard it here. Gordon Beckham doesn't see the Astros winning the World Series here, um, but I think that if any team that can do it, the Astros can. Now, will they? Uh, there's a lot of issues that you have to uh, worry about. Uh, Luis Garcia, he's got to go out there and pitch. You can't give up a grand slam in the first inning and you keep on expecting the Astros come back. In fact, I believe that the Astros were the first team in World Series history to, to overcome two deficits in the same game to win a game. So you can't keep on expecting offense to keep on uh, covering your butt like that. So you've got to start strong. The the uh, We talked about a whole bunch of keys to victory in the main podcast. So I don't want to uh, talk too much about that. But uh, yeah, so Gordon Beckham talked about a lot of the keys uh, to the rest of the series. So uh, whether you agree with him or not, um, that I just wanted to kind of offer some of my thoughts to this and uh, go and give you all a chance to kind of watch this and see a, a, a kind of a non-Astros person's thought on the Astros and the World Series. So anyway, uh, I'm excited about game six. I'm going to game six tomorrow and uh, go Astros and let's uh, let's beat the Braves and I'll see you at the ballpark tomorrow and I will see you on another Locked on Astros podcast. Go Stros.